Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Snookus, and this is another episode of our, er, no, not Airborne Results, this is Hearts of Iron 4, and we are slowly but as assuredly uh, winning this fight. We are taking um, the Galicia here, the tip of um, Spain, and we are gonna try to push down the Spain, the nationalist, the dirty fascist pig, pigs, not singular pig. Um, down to the south, encroaching on Sevilla and uh, slowly but surely winning the war. So let's uh, let's start off right away. No need to dilly daddle, dilly daddle, whatever. Uh, so we've sent the army to here to retake this um, territory. So we're gonna do that pretty quickly, I imagine, which will mean we'll get a few more factors here and there. Um, in the meantime, this is, much, this is pretty much a stalemate, but that's fine because we do have more divisions, I imagine. We have 35 and they have, at the maximum, 22. So, um... so yeah, this is going pretty well. The key to winning the war is taking Aragon. And I imagine if you're playing as um, the Nationalist, which I haven't ever really done, the key is to um, cutting through this here, which is much longer, but um, you do get more foreign support as well, so... Um... Okay, so they, they are putting up, up some resistance now, but... Um, that shouldn't be an issue at all, we can just circumvent them like these, this. Let's, ma let's make sure that um, we aren't en en encircled like we were last time. See, now they're trying to um, circumvent us here. So, uh, with their armies tied up like this, we can um, we can take Corona and uh, deny them their only port, which is perfect. And we gain another we gained another factory from doing that. So let's. Prioritize our future factories a bit. Make sure that our um, infantry equipment start getting into a surplus again. Well, it is, I guess, but um, let's get rid of that def deficit. I mean. So this is going great. This is going quite great. So let's uh, start imagining what we're gonna do on the world stage here. Um, I imagine we're gonna either join the common turn or the alliance. The allies, I suppose they're called. As you can see, the um, the partner at Cal here are um, slowly gaining. Hopefully, France won't ban communists, which they often do. They will do if you play on the historical timeline. And because I do want France to create its own free faction, which we could join, and then we could rule the world to our own policing, and then we then we wouldn't have to. Um, Stand in the shadow of the Soviet bloc over here. No need to support the totalitarians. Okay, so this have happened, which, which do tend to happen, but um, let's capitalize on that. Uh, pretty much like that. See if we can... Um, can't try to gain something from this. And let's see here then. If we make you start pushing down a bit, we might be able to put some pressure on them. And these guys are gonna be freed up soon as well, so that should be fine. Right, I never did that. This did I. Um... They should move some troops down here. Which means we should use these guys to attack as well. You don't have any attack plan though, so that's kind of hard for you. So, like that, let's go. Okay, so this happened again. Let's 
try to um, cut in as much as possible. Okay, so we gained another factory and we're, we're gonna gain even another one before we uh, start focusing on civilian factories. Okay, so we are losing this battle even though we do have a lot more divisions attacking. I suppose that's because they have better organization and um, supply, which you pretty much can expect since they were a professional army where, while we were just uh, some um, trade unions sticking up for democracy. Yay, freedom. So uh, this is going quite fine. We are uh, we actually managed to uh, pocket some of them. They um, advanced down here to Malaga and tried to take that, and we circumvented them again. And um, now they are in a bit of a pickle here. Italy just annexed Ethiopia, as you just saw, which is uh, pretty much the huge failure of the, um, the League of Legends there, which is pretty much what led to its downfall. The, one of the big events that led to it. Now we can start patrolling here again. We still can't get out here due to um, the Gibraltar Strait. And as I said, submarines can still pass. So if we would, if we wanted to, we could send some out here to try and take down the nationalists' um, convoys, which wouldn't be a horrible idea. But they barely have any. Um, they have one port left over here, and I, I don't really see the benefit of doing that right now anyway and now we're gonna take one division here we're gonna give him a general of his own and then we're gonna try to take Morocco here that's simply because uh, well uh, so we can get out from Gibraltar straight we do get one unlock slot here but I don't believe they do uh, they have any factories in it, so um, we won't gain a lot from it, but it's a bit of a tactical necessity. This battle, battle will, begin, will be won in um, well, a couple of months, and we are winning pretty much all of our battles, and these guys will be dead soon, which is great. I love that. Let's just push in to make sure that that's done as quickly as possible. That's, there, there they go. Uh, that, that means we can pretty much take this front line here and try to extend it a bit. And then as soon as they've built up a bit of planning, we can attack with them as well. Um, you should go as soon as you can. You can already, so we're gonna take Morocco now. Pretty much right away, I imagine. Would be surprised if they had any support, um, any defensive units here. So let's uh, let's push in right away. Let's uh, let's apply some pressure. Um, I would love to this guy to like help out or something, but um, can't have it all, I guess. So we do have one guy here who doesn't do anything, so let's send him up here to finish them off so we get all of those six divisions freed up so we can push into the last stand here. don't know why you aren't participating in this battle, but um, I'll do it manually, I suppose. So we did take Morocco there, that means we can expand this to out here, and it also means that we can merge these fleets, and then we can also, if we, let's see here, we go to um, production, we can make sure that our all of our flutes, fleets get to the Republican Spain fleet, Re Republican Spain fleet 1. Which is the wrong fleet, great. Um, it's the... 
space naval el ferol that's where is where they are going so all right as you can see we have pretty much won it right now um hopefully we can make spain communists in time for um before they expel or all of their communists um so in the meantime we do have enough manpower to um manage for now so let's take some this is Franco, this is the general we are fighting against, so we can, you can only take that, he's a genius apparently by the way. So we can only attack, take him if we play as the nationalists. So let's take some division defense instead, which is rarely useful, but it's something. So just uh, another two weeks here, okay, or three weeks or four weeks, or five weeks, nope, now it's going down again. Um, and we are going to need some patience over here as well, so let's... With the exception of these guys, we're gonna. Oh, fuck. Uh, we're gonna. Um, stop all of these attacks. Because we wanna build up the um, planning again and we wanna get some more. Uh, infantry equipment. We wanna regain that so that we are fully equipped for a final push here. Um. Especially since they are gonna have a really hard time getting uh, Getting any equipment, so I just thought we should um, request some land lease and uh, Then I saw that they wouldn't allow that since they are democratic because that somehow Influences when they can send equipment. So we're gonna request some equipment from um, the Soviet Union instead which we probably would have done anyway, but um, yep, so now we're gonna focus on civilian factories. Now we're gonna get a ton of equipment. We, I should have done this a long time ago. We should have done it at the beginning of the of the, bell, of the game. Um, so yeah, let's um, keep improving our production here. So they are trying to push us back. We have almost taken Sevilla here, as you can see. But they are not gonna manage because they don't have nearly as many units as we have. Uh, we have more than double. And they don't have the equipment. So this is pretty much a win-win. Um, no, it isn't. It's pretty much a certain win for us, but uh, not anything for them. So just for fun, let's... Um, Let's do this, shall we? Let's plan a bit of an invasion into um, into southern Sevilla here. You know what? Let's um, let's make it fun. Usually, you should only attack the port that you want to take because taking anything more means uh, you will essentially lose your troops. But since we are pretty much gonna win anyway, so let's push for the whole front here and see if we can take all of it. And then we're gonna try to um, time it with um, the front, uh, the, the push with all our other troops. Um, okay, so I don't know what happened here. Apparently they pushed us back. That's a bit um, worrying. But let's um, set up a, bit, a little, um, what's it called, spearhead attack here, which means we um, cut through here and we'll leave all of these troops without supply for the foreseeable future. Uh, these troops will still have supply, but it also means that our landing troops will have some frontier, so they will get supplied and not get overrun. Um, okay, okay, they took Madrid. Fantastic. So let's make sure that they don't get to keep Madrid. We are gonna take it pretty quickly. Here we did it. And um, don't know why you are attacking.
Okay, so I can qu clearly see that we should um, transfer some troops from Army 1, I believe this is. No, Army 3 maybe. Yep. No? That's Army 3, okay, so Army 4. Um, so that they don't retake Madrid again. Okay, anyway. This is going fine. Now we're just pretty much waiting for Army 1 to get into position so we can begin with the spearhead attack. We're gonna build up some planning so we get the bonus when we finally attack. Also make sure that everyone are... Um, is this mountain? It's hills, so they do get some bonus by for being mountaineers. Um, so I want to make sure that everyone is supplied and stuff like that. When this battle is over, I imagine we're gonna attack. Okay, so we um, managed to convert the French to communists. So now they are now the French commune. Um, so that's amazing. Uh, that's exactly what we needed, pretty much. We're gonna take this. We reinforce quicker, and we're gonna take the French volunteer divisions. I mean. Come on, four divisions, they're, <clears throat> they're gonna essentially be the last nail in this uh, coffin for um, the nationalists here. I appreciate it greatly, France, I really love it. We're also gonna request some land lease, because, um, well, we need it. We're gonna get some um, artillery and some, I imagine this is uh, infantry equipment. So that's nice. Okay, so um, you know what? Everyone is in position, right? So um, let's do this. Let's push on, as they say. Wanna be make sure that everyone is as aggressive as they can. Uh, so to make sure that we take this area mainly. And now as this uh, front is secure. Are you going or uh, hey, you are not going? Okay, we lack the intel apparently. All right, so um, well, I, that's my bad. I should have checked that before we um, before we even consider this. So let's do it like that and try to get this fleet out here as soon as possible, and then we can charge these. Positions. And now we're going. Great. So this uh, last hole here is gonna be overrun, overrun quite quickly, hopefully at least. So let's um, focus on getting um, more infantry equipment, which is our main deficit problem here. And as soon as we've taken uh, Cadiz, we uh, should uh, we should win. Pretty much, I believe that's their last major city. Yep, they are on the brink here. Ninety-nine percent. So uh, just taking Cadiz, and then we're uh, we're done. Pretty much. They did take Malaga uh, for some reason, but uh, you know. We can manage that quite quickly though. And we won! March, maybe should have read that, but no matter, we won! So great! I think, um, I think this is actually a pretty good place to end the episode. And now we're gonna come back and uh, see where we are after this. Anyway, we, we won the Republic of Spain. We changed his history, at least from how it was in the real world. And uh, now we are actually out in the alternative timeline here. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll uh, see you next episode where we will see where we are going from here. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.